one hundred you think will do well here tonight, and you'll learn points based off of their finishes, which you can redeem in the speed shop for tickets, shirts, etc. New subscribers receive a t-shirt, user selects from Hunt the Front and several other series throughout the nation. Get a $50 Death Ridge Ops promo code. You can use for Ray-Ban, Oakley, and other brand of eyewear. So that's all from Dirt Draft. Maybe we'll get Joe and John here to fill out their Dirt Draft hot laps, their, their picks. Get a $100,000 salary cap. All right, cars coming out. Group one for Dirt Draft Hot Laps. 18X will be Michael Siebers, the 91 car. Heath Heinemann out of Signal Mountain, Tennessee. He'll be in the 91 car. Car number 19M will be Spencer Hughes out of Meridian, Mississippi. A new ride for Spencer. Number 25, Carl B. Chase Walls out of Shelbyville, Tennessee. Driving the 16 car. I believe that's Sam Seawright oh, out of Fort Payne, Alabama. He's had a big year here. Yeah. Car 53, the Tar Heel Tiger, a former Gobbler winner, Ray Cook, out of Brasstown, North Carolina, in that familiar blue, orange, and white number 53. Coming out in the 96 car, second generation driver Tanner English out of Benton, Kentucky, as we go green. Forty-six car out on the speedway. Chris Jones out of Alabaster, Alabama. Time's beginning to go up on the board. Of course, these are unofficial until we go into our qualifications. That's when the times will be official. They're going up on the Dirt Draft Hot Lap scoreboard to the upper left of your picture if you're watching on Hunt the Front TV. Wow. Tanner English. Tanner English at 12.568. Wow. Chris Jones. And going to the top of the list on his final lap will be Spencer Hughes out of Meridian, Mississippi at 12.551. Just to give you a taste of what qualifying will be like this afternoon. Wow. So that group will go back to the pit area. We split them in half. 14 cars scheduled to come out. 33 machine to Justin Taylor out of College Grove, Tennessee. Rolls out on the speedway. There's your number 10 car, Scott Cook out of Shelbyville, Tennessee. Talk about walking horse country. That's right. And the 16 that was in that first group, that was Daniel Miller out of Lynchburg, Tennessee. Car looked a lot like Sea Rights, though. There's your 54 car, 54 Jr., Larry Barber Jr. out of Hopkinsville, Kentucky. Seventeen R, Brad Skinner out of Spring Hill, Tennessee, out on the speedway. Green flag coming out. There's the P1, Andy Picklesheimer out of Ottawa, Tennessee. So let's see if anybody can top the 12.551 second lap laid down by Spencer Hughes in our first group. We're still in group one of Kirkcraft Hot Laps. 
drove it 12 five, five around here. It's just amazing. That's getting it. Oh, my goodness. That's all in the mail. What a show this is going to be. John Nix joining us on the broadcast. Good to have John with us. Well, it's good to have you guys here, man. We, uh, we love having the Hunt Front Series here at the Duck. And we're in for another great afternoon of racing for sure. And checkered flag out on the second group of group one. That sounds confusing. Second flight, I guess we should say. There you go. Of group one. Spencer Hughes still at the top. That 12 5 5 1. Four cars now have broken that 13 second mark. Can you imagine what it would be if it was the sun wasn't out? Yeah. Okay. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Oh, be in orbit. I'm telling you. What a great track that Russell Booth has prepared here, too. It, they always have a great surface for these guys to run on. You can Coming out next, the 302 car for Robert Stutz out of Murphy Burroughs, Tennessee. They used to call him Stutz Bearcat. Yeah, the Stutz family. The they Stutz know. Bearcat. They've been racing around here for a long, long time. Good to see him back out here. H22 will be Brandon Hargrove out of Burnside, Kentucky. He'll be out in the first flight of Group 2. The M2 machine out on the speedway. That must be, oh, that is uh, Caden Mullinax out of Birmingham, Alabama. Mullinax family well known in racing circles out of Birmingham. The J8, Jaden Frame out of Winchester, Tennessee. In the 27 car. Jordan Horton out of New Tazewell, Tennessee. Car number seven. Jeremy Cropper out of Ringgold, Georgia. Car number 74, Caleb Ashby out of Cunningham, Tennessee. One stop down there on the front stretch. Yeah, we got the six car down here. This you already here. Ross Bales out of Clover, South Carolina. So Ross Bales, Ross the boss, having a little trouble down here getting the fire to the engine. He gets pushed away. Driver's still up manicuring the top of the racetrack. Yeah, still working this track in, getting that cushion worked in up there. And like you said earlier, Roby, these guys will be hanging it out, especially through three and four. They will just flat put it on that wall. Green flag is in the air, underway. Flight one, group two of our good draft hot laps. Some drivers work in the middle, some working right up the top, and some are even up in no man's land. I mean, out in the parking lot. Yeah, hot laps, good time to see where you're going to run good. So we're going to try a few different lines, see where they can find some speed. Be ready for that qualify. That'll be an important run. Well, in this group, Ross Bales, he got it fired up all right. He's four quick overall, 12.855, fastest in this group. As the checkered flag comes out, so these drivers will head for the pit area. We'll bring out our second flight of Dirt Draft Hot Laps Group 2. So again, Ross Bales in the sixth car. Fastest in that group, 12.855, fourth quick overall. Spencer Hughes still at the top of the Dirt Draft Hot Lap list at 12.551. Second flight rolling out on the speedway. Group two for Dirt Draft Hot Laps. Got a little traffic jam getting back in the pit area. We will get that cleared up. 05 car out on the speedway. That'll be T.J. Britton out of Center, Alabama.
There's Sam Seawright, car number 16, out of Fort Payne, Alabama. And as John Nix was saying, that, that guy knows his way around Duck River Raceway Park. Yeah, Roby, Sam Seawright got a win early this year. I believe that was Winterfest, if I'm not mistaken, and then uh, had a top three finish the last time these guys were here. So we'll be definitely looking for him to uh, be up front and be a factor in this. Car number four will be Trip Gerald out of Versailles, Kentucky. Twenty-nine car, Christian Hanger out of Winchester, Tennessee. We saw his dad, Henry Hanger, in the open wheel modifieds. Cars coming up to speed. Forty-four car. That'll be John Ombi out of Cleveland, Tennessee. Sam Seawright, quickest in that group. Seventh overall at 12.959 seconds. Sam Seawright out of Fort Payne, Alabama. Do you know the, the other two things that come that Fort Payne is famous for? The band Alabama. Okay, that's one. Okay. You know the other one? Kill me. It is actually the... <laughs> It is the corporate home of the Heil Equipment Manufacturing Company that makes garbage trucks. Okay. Okay. I thought, well, they've got a Heil plant in Athens, Tennessee, that makes the tankers, the yeah. aluminum tankers. Exactly. Yeah. But the garbage trucks all come out of force. So if, 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 you go, if you go put your garbage on the street, there's a real possibility that the truck who's picking you up is From was Fort made Payne, in Alabama. Fort Payne, Alabama. Got it. That's the other one of my careers. So, <laughs> I, w I was going to mention something about that, but, you know, I, I really didn't want to bring up your trash. Well, you know. <laughs> Joe is the guy that when you call the trash company that they didn't pick up your trash, it would be Joe on the other end. He has heard it all. More times than I care to think about, actually. <laughs> Oh, my. Still uh, change here. We're going with the four bangers now. Oh, these are our pure ponies here. at Pure ponies. Yeah, they're fun. we got those and the bang bangers here tonight. Let me tell you, we've got a little bit of everything tonight, and uh, it's going to be interesting to see how this track reacts to all the different types. I hope you look over in three and four, and already you're beginning to see this thing uh, take down some rubber. Which is a little unusual. It's a little bit early. I was going to say, you know, but, you know, the sun is shining down. I yep. mean, it's a cloudless day today, so, and the wind is blowing. So that's two things it's got going against it. Paul Teach out in the 222. There's the 17. Making me search now. That's how long it's been. That's Jason James. It drives the 17. Teach out's coming out early. Tommy Bond in the 20 has been uh, the, the hot shoe most of the year. Jimmy Dale in the S7 now has the top spot uh, for the moment. There goes Tommy Bond taking care of that. Tommy at a 15.803, about three-tenths of a second quicker than Brian Hale in the 16 at the moment. But we don't, uh, we don't waste a whole lot of time. John Nix will tell you that. We'll get qualifying uh, completed here today, along with the hot laps for all these guys. I just, I'm, I'm just really anxious to get to the heat races. That's where it's going to be fun. 
John's up here swapping around these uh, Jim and Bonnie's nuts. Yeah. By the way, here in the grandstands, if you at home, I'm sorry, you're, you're not going to be here to do this, but we'll have our two buck a duck specials coming up. A lot of prizes to give away. Uh, Roby, we've been doing this all year. Two bucks a duck, and all the proceeds go to improving the playground for the kids here. It's pretty good as it is, but uh, Angie and, and Russell want to make it even better for the kids, and that's where all of it goes. So we'll pull some duck numbers here in a little while. you got to do what we can do for those kids because they're the future of this sport. Oh, absolutely. And it is getting harder and harder to get the kids interested in racing nowadays, you know, so... It's good to have the youngsters out here, and we want you to have a good time, and we'll do whatever we can do to see that that happens. You ain't wrong. Second group out to qualify now. The 3F is Justin Farless. The 214 uh, should be Devin Boss, as Devin's going to move up that scale just a little bit. He's second fastest right now. Would not be surprising to see uh, the, the usual suspects, and they're already at the top of this board right now. The 20 of Tommy Bond, the 214 of Devin Boss, the 88 of Trace Underwood, uh, Brian Hale in the 16. These uh, these are the guys that we've seen run all year up towards the front. Paul Teachout had problems in that 222 in that first group. And that should wrap up uh, the qualifying here for the Pure Ponies. And Underwood goes, I uh, believe, to the top of the chart. He does uh, bumping out Tommy Bond by about a tenth of a second. Well, actually, let me back that up. Uh, try uh, .054 seconds, less than a half a tenth. And that's kind of the way this place has been all year. You you get these pure ponies, and the top ten are usually within less than, than three-quarters of a second. Well, you know you've written a good set of rules when that happens. Oh, I'm telling you, these guys have put on some shows. And I, I was wrong. Here comes our third group out. The 17 cars have checked in today for this group, and uh, they will be every bit of what you expect they will be. We've been very fortunate with some really competitive races. They've been very close in hot laps. They've been very, very close in qualifying. And then that equates to a really good race around here. Now, do these cars have that kind of Pinto-like engine based off the Pinto same, engine? Same concept, yeah. Yeah, except uh, if you really want to get in your wallet, you can get a Nestlinger. Exactly. Yeah. But most of the, you know, they, they, there's uh, there's even a couple of little Iron Dukes out there. Do you remember those? I remember those. So. Back in my midget racing days. Uh-huh. Yeah. But it looks like it will still be. Well, we, oh my goodness, our fast qualifier today is that dreaded missing data. <laughs> so the missing hey, data so, from parts unknown. Hey, that family is good. Everywhere. I mean, everywhere. Everywhere they go, missing data is going to show up. So. I've seen missing data senior, missing data junior, and missing data the third all in the same group sometimes. <laughs> bring, yeah. the, bring the whole family. Yeah, bring them all out. That's It's a family sport. That's what it's about. Uh, we're just cutting up here at Duck River Raceway Park. Hello, everybody. I'm Joe Williams. He's Roby Helm. He's the man. I just happen to be sitting in the in the co-pilot's chair at the Come moment. Come on now. Come on now. The voice of Nashville Fairgrounds. Come mm. on now. John Nix, the man behind the, the, the myth and the legend, will be back with us here in a little while. I, I can't get him. I think he's. I he think, keeps going to the concession stand. He's bringing well, up. Uh, well, what he, do we got here? Can, oh, candy. That's Jim and Bonnie. Yeah. Candied pecans. Candied pecans. Well, those are the loaded. Yeah. These are the roasted with salt. There you go. Uh, we got cotton candy down back. And I'm we get, you wait know, for him to bring the rib plate up. We'll have to talk to him about <laughs> that because they've got. The, the scary part is they were worried about running out of ribs. I can understand that. Uh, they had about 300 pounds of turkey legs, and I'm not sure what kind of shape they're in now. Uh, they had roasted corn, and after yeah. I went through... Uh, I heard you went through yeah. about three years. Yeah, bushel, I think, would be a better oh, term. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> I have to admit, I, I do have an affinity for the, for the roasted corn. Yeah, it's kind I of kind of see the, the butter kind of dripping you, uh -huh. down there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Save a little for later. Yeah. 
Our front-wheel drive cars are coming out to qualify now. The, the Bang Banger, that zero car I'm very familiar with. That Jacob Sharp. Jacob Sharp out of Crossville. Now, that car owner of that zero car is 11 years old. The car owner is. The car owner. Well, he drives it sometimes, too. He's got more wins in that car than Jacob does. Okay. And that would be his son, Frankie Sharp. And the assistant crew chief is 10 years old. That's Ronnie Sharp. Are they that good, or is it a tax thing? Well, they... <laughs> they they ran in the junior front-wheel drive division okay. throughout East Tennessee. All right. I don't know if they've got that in this neck of the woods, but those two boys are good, and, and Jacob has taught them well. They actually get out there and work on the car. They tear the engines down and put them back together. I mean, those kids are amazing. Well, and that's something that, that I think we miss sometimes in the educational system, and I know especially in my home county of Williamson County. You know, they, 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 they stress their success by – you know, 96% going to college. My argument is that's great, so they can all run a computer. Who's going to build my house? Right. Who's going to take care of my car? That's right. And Sharp is the fastest so far to 15, 565. That's, yeah, I think the yeah. kids the kids have done him well. Yeah, and they must be working on the 731 car. Their neighbor, 